Hey guys, Dina here, Thrifty Junker. So, uh, I shot this video about three weeks ago and I wanted to get it out because I have, uh, there's been so much stuff that I have gotten since this video and I can't wait to show it to you, but I've got to do it in parts because there has been uh, a ton going on and a ton of things that I'm finding. Um, and I want to uh, get it out and show it to you. So if you are new here, thank you for coming. Welcome to my channel. So I um, buy things or I snag things for free and I flip them on eBay, Macari, um, and Facebook Marketplace. I also have a vendor booth and I put some of my items in my vendor booth. I've had my booth about a year now um, and it's going well. Uh, so. Without further ado, uh, let's get into um, what I've been doing the last uh, several weeks. Hello, my friends. It is December 27th, and it is a warm 72 degrees out here in southern Indiana. It is really, really strange. Like, the sun is out. Like, now it's blinding me. Um, it's going it's like overcast but it's still like it's out and um it is warm and it's crazy um so like yay spring i'm ready for spring um you know christmas is over might as well be spring that's how i feel but anyway um so i uh went to another estate sale actually no i take that back i went to the same estate uh sale um, so this, um, the person that was running the estate sale that I went to, um, in a previous video, um, they, um, uh, got a hold of a friend of mine. So I learned about this estate sale through a friend and this person, I, I introduced myself when I was there and uh, she, um, she got a hold of my friend and was like, Hey, um, I have some more pieces of long burger. Um, would your, do you want to check to see if your friend would like them? Um, and it was long burger pottery. And, I, and so my friend messaged me, I said, heck yeah, I'll take some extra pieces. Um, and so I went and picked them up and I started talking to her about, um, what was left over at the house that they have been cleaning out. Um, that was a family member's. Um, and so um, I mentioned that I'd be um, interested in coming back. She said that everything, they were just basically giving it away. Um, and so I told her I'd be interested in coming back and taking a look and seeing if uh, I could find uh, more stuff. Um, at this point, she didn't know that I was a reseller. Um, and so uh, a few days go by, um, I got with her, went uh, to look at what was left over pretty much. Um, almost what was there when I left the day that I left on the second day. Um, they hadn't done much. I think they maybe had a few people come in, um, but not much was um, gone. So, um, so I um, started looking through stuff and um, realized immediately that I was probably going to fill my car back up again uh, because uh, everything was free. So, um, so I gave this lady an offer, um, and I don't know if I'm crazy, but, um, I offered her that I would help her, uh, get rid of the stuff, um, which means I could go through, um, all the stuff and I would be willing to help her get rid of the stuff, take it to Goodwill, sell whatever furniture was left, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, um, in the um, so basically I would do that for her for her, her letting me get whatever I wanted um, and so maybe basically a clean out um, and so she agreed she was like yes whatever you if you want stuff because I told her I finally told her I was a reseller she's like that's awesome if you want stuff uh, go for it um, and so I I crammed as much stuff as I, as I could in my car that day um, and I uh, now I have to go back um, and and work on uh, the rest of the house because uh, it's it's still got a lot of stuff to it and it's got a garage full of stuff so yeah 
Um, so anyway, so I am just going to uh, show you what my car looks like right now. Um, got a lot of good stuff already. Uh, I did take a few things out last night because I wanted to get them listed and uh, scored some awesome uh, Barbie things. So I'll show you that a um, little bit later too as well. So here we go. Do you guys want to see a bulldog run really fast? She's excited as I am about this. So here is the back of the car. Um, like I said, it was, had um, probably about five or six more things in it. Um, Barbies and a Barbie car um, that were all brand new, sealed in packages, all vintage. Um, and so there's more dolls down here. Um, these are dolls. These are really cool. I'll show you those. Um, yeah, I stuffed stuff in this little suitcase. I have all kinds of stuff in here. And then, um, I don't even know how to get back. So, <laughs> this TV has been riding around with me for a little while. So, that is de technically not from that. And, and this box here is from these boxes here. So, that and that is from a friend of mine that also I got for free. I know. I have... I need to unload. So I got all this. Uh, more dolls. Um, yeah. Uh, and then, so front seat has more toys. And it has an Ikea bag full of stuff from this estate. Um, so I got to unload all of this stuff. Okay, my friends. This is the second haul um, from the estate sale. This is actually um, the first, is it the first? First free haul, yes. Gosh, I can't even remember. I've been over there so many times. Um, so this is the first free haul from the estate sale. Um, as you might remember, I had been there um, before um, the two days that they were having the estate sale and picked up quite a bit. Uh, spent a little over a hundred dollars um, and now I am um, finding more stuff uh, and this is all stuff that wasn't out uh, during the sale this was stuff that was back in a closet a lot of it was back in the closet especially these dolls um, so nice little Barbie Mustang brand new spanking in the box hasn't even been opened um crazy these dolls are all brand new not been out of the box this one um is if you'll notice a lot of these um have darker hair uh the little girl that they were bought for um was from china she had been adopted and this here is the special one. I don't know if you saw my stories on Instagram, but this one, um, I when I seen this, it says, this is not a toy. I was like, what? What kind of Barbie is not a toy? And this one is a special Barbie that was given to uh, the parents of a Chinese orphan uh, who, and they were taking them home. Uh, they were adopting them, and they were staying at this uh, White Swan Hotel. And so they gave the parents one of these dolls. So this is actually the first edition, and there were several editions. I don't believe they make them anymore or give them out anymore. So um, that one is worth quite a bit. Uh, and then, of course, this Walt Disney one. Um, and it's kind of rare because she has darker skin. She has black hair. And, of course, a lot of the Barbies don't have uh, black hair like that. So, um, lots and lots of dolls. Um, lots of Oriental dolls. Uh, you'll notice there's tons of Oriental dolls. Uh, there's another Barbie um, that I need to comp. And just tons of... Tons. <laughs> Feels like tons. Um, all these bar, all these dolls. So pretty cool. 
Um, these, I had actually picked up one of these and sold it in my booth already. There is two there. Um, and um, these actually are the same doll. Uh, one has the plastic still um, in front of it and the other one doesn't. So must have been a duplicate. But um, some other things from China, lots of knickknacks from China. Um, these are actually scroll paintings. These three things here are scroll paintings from China. So this is one of those Chinese painted scrolls I uh, pointed out in the video. It's very, very tall. So I haven't investigated these, but some of them can go for um, a couple hundred dollars. So lots more investigation to do on this one. And so this is how they come, like I said, that um, ribbon helps to tie it up once it's rolled up. And then they come in these boxes, long boxes that fit inside, kind of in, fit, fit inside of each other uh, once the scroll is in there. So that's how they, how they come. And so here is the third one. Again, another beautiful geisha girl. And this is actually, I wanted to show you, so you can tell, like, it's hand-painted. They, like, draw it out, and then they, it's very detailed. And then they have the lettering, which I have no idea what that is. Um, but if you look, this is, like, actual paper. So it looks like it's homemade rolled paper as well. And so, um, I don't know how much time is put into these, but they are pretty wild. So this one does have a little bit of, it's probably not damaged. It's probably just when they rolled it up, I would assume, if it was still wet. I don't know. I don't know much about these, but I'm about to find out. But I thought they were very, very cool. I had never seen anything like this before. And again, this is how they look boxed up. So, there you go. Some, a big tub of Bratz dolls. I picked those up. So, I wanted to cut in here and show you the Bratz dolls, some of them, that uh, were in that little um, plastic case. I have already showed you the comps on two that, or not the comps, but the two that I've already sold um, pretty uh, quickly. So, uh, have so, a lot of them have all their accessories with them. That's what's crazy is that's what I'm finding with this estate. This little girl like kept everything, not everything, but a lot of stuff. Like even instructions. A lot of the dolls have instructions, so I'm able to identify them. And so that was very, very helpful. So, uh, so here's some of the dolls that are in that little case in that video and I um yeah they're they're worth a lot because a lot of them are first editions which is pretty cool so and then I did I don't know if I mentioned it but there's the uh the littlest pet shop thing that was on the shelf uh and it has a lot of its little accessories to it uh does not have any of the animals apparently it came with two a dog that has a magnet on its foot and when that dog touches certain things like you'll see this little paw uh things happen like this will pop down this will pop up so i don't have that little dog so i need to try to hopefully i can find that little dog but I'm not sure that i'll be able to uh, but it makes obviously this a lot more desirable if the the little gerbil hamster I think it's a hamster uh or and the dog is included in this because that's what it came with and and it did come in the box um here's some more um these uh boxes are full of uh they've got dolls china dolls in them as well this little bowl here um it has a little spoon that's actually the bowl and the spoon that the child uh, ate with at the orphanage. So 
again another doll this is just a, a neat bowl um, again the, all this stuff was free uh, this suitcase I have been needing a new carry-on um, so here I got a new carry-on um, it has some um, knickknacks in there a um, couple things from party light if you remember party light a uh, big banquet dish there is a Build-A-Bear in its little home with the papers, with clothes on. Um, yeah, always can use these AV cords for when I sell VCRs. A uh, whole thing of these uh, little pet, Willis Pet Shop cards. They are like the adoption cards. Like when the kid um, got them, I guess. So there's a big old stack of those. Um, some McDonald's Wizard of Oz dolls. I actually just sold these. Um, I listed them for thing, and I have already sold them. This, I'm not sure if this is Polly Pockets or not, but they're teeny tiny dolls. Uh, a lot of this stuff I haven't even gone through yet. There is a Discman. Uh, some CDs and rewrite discs. Uh, Skin So Soft. This is uh, Pampered Chef. You can see it. It's on the... They always have it. Their little logo on it. And this is a kid's uh, measuring cup cookie cutter set um, and I recognize that because I used to sell Pampered Chef. These are a stack of new, they're like the under the bed storage zip up containers. They're like a fabric. So a bunch of new ones. Um, I did open this up. I don't think these are Polly Pockets although they are teeny tiny. Um, but they, they are very similar to Polly Pockets. Um, so I do need to go to the lens and see if that is any certain brand or if it's just a cheap knockoff, but teeny tiny little, little, little dolls. Uh, this is a whole box of kit, like kitchenware for kids and food. Um, I picked that up for a friend, it's daughter. This is a little princess, Disney princess, um, set of toys, and Buzz Lightyear, some doll clothes, and then this little castle with some of the little Disney princesses, and this was some brand new storybook cassettes, um, for kids so that's that pile and then I have a whole whole uh, this is a Wizard of Oz box that looks like somebody had burned I think or drew on I'm not sure how they did it looks like maybe they done the burning on it and all kinds of stuff in here a lot of new old stock items um, that I picked up. So, a bunch of stuff in there. Some of it may be personal use, some of it I may sell. I almost forgot this, um, box of stuff. So, there's a bunch of, there's some Tupperware spice containers down there. A bunch of, uh, brand new shaker bottles, blender bottles, um, all kinds of tumblers. That kind of stuff. Aladdin, which is a good good name. These are old thermoses. I believe there's glass in them that um, keeps your stuff warm. Um, so, got a couple of those. Those are like vintage. And then these um, muck boots. I got those as well. Okay, so here is the remainder of what I got this this trip. So, as you can see, I found a Littman stethoscope, which, if you don't know what Littman is, they are very expensive um, 
they call them the doctor's stethoscope, but that was a, a funny thing that happened a while back. Um, but nurses use them too. Um, so I got, I found this. I um, mean, it looks practically brand new. Uh, pretty cool find there. Some Disney Princess. This is perfume. There's some new old stock Avon stuff. This little, little fan thingy. Cute little plush. These are long burger baskets. Um, a few of those. There's some Pyrex. A Pyrex dish. These are longa burger. They are balances. So there is, I think, two balances there. Um, trying to think what all this is. I think this is all American Girl stuff. Yeah. Some more old stock. This little Lennox bear. Oh, just all kinds of stuff. Uh, this is a little boo, boo doll from Monsters, Inc. These are Longberger as well. Oh, this is a little, one of those little uh, Zuzu pet hamsters. Uh, this is Longberger. It matches the balances. These are things that go with the baskets. These are napkins, cloth napkins that match for Longberger. These are also cloth napkins. Uh, this is a um, fabric. Um, yeah, I can't even think of what it is. Uh, liner. Here we go. Liner for a basket. This is the protector. So the plastic is protectors for basket. And if you ever find them, they usually tell you what um, it goes to. So this is the bottom protector. Uh, this is the protector for a small flower pot basket. And then this will tell you what um, it goes to. There's some steel wool. That's probably going to be helping me clean some stuff. This little <laughs> owl game. <laughs> Boo, Boo keeps making all kinds of crazy noises. So, so that is all the stuff from the first load of free stuff so wow if you're not um like blown away by some of the stuff that i've gotten for free um i don't know it's it's been crazy and there's so much more to show you um i have been back to that home uh, multiple times uh, even had a friend stop by and spend the day there with me and she filled up her car full of free stuff um, to take back to South Carolina and so uh, and there's still so much stuff there uh, so I can't wait to show you um, I'll be showing in future videos uh, the actual house and garage and some more of the stuff that I've picked up for free uh, so, uh, be sure to make sure you subscribe and hit that top notification. That way you can, uh, see all this stuff. Like I'm blown away, uh, how much, uh, I'm being blessed with. Uh, so it's pretty cool, uh, pretty cool opportunity. I've always wanted to do, um, clean outs or, um, storage lockers. And so I think this is getting me ready to do like a storage locker. Um, it's actually bigger than a storage locker, but in a storage locker, it's hit and miss. Uh, this is, this is a whole house, uh, full of stuff. Um, that's kind of like a time capsule, uh, because things have just been there for 20 years and, um, not touched. And so it's been pretty crazy. So I uh, hope you enjoyed watching me uh, go through uh, some of the stuff that I found. Um, I don't usually video there while I'm at the house just out of um, respect for the family. I, I do, I did have videoed a couple of things, but as I'm going through stuff, I haven't uh, videoed any. Um, 
it, it takes a lot of time to go through a lot of the stuff. And so um, I would have hours and hours and hours of content. So um, I may shoot some, but I've pretty much gone through everything by now um, in the house. Now the garage is a different story. Uh, I have been through the garage a couple times, um, but there's so much more to go through uh, that I haven't even uh, taken on yet. So that's that. But uh, hopefully in the future I can um, grab my camera and have it uh, with me while I go through some stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, make sure to hit the thumbs up. And just remember, one person's junk is another person's thrift haul. See you later, guys.